In this set of slides, we're going to explain how to show positive and negative relationships on a diagram. We are going to do the following. We're going to explain how to draw a diagram that shows a positive relationship. Then we'll explain how to draw a diagram that shows a negative relationship. We'll compare the variables with positive relationships and negative relationships and we'll compare a line and a curve. This specific presentation is about drawing a diagram that shows a positive relationship. Here we have a table that shows household income and the corresponding household consumption. So what it shows is that when household income is a thousand rand, household consumption will be 800. When the household income increases to 2,000 2, rand, household consumption increases to 1,600 rand. So you can see that when income increases, ha household consumption also increases. So the two variables change in the same direction. Now we want to show this on a diagram. We show household income on the vertical axis. So we show the values for household income on the vertical axis. It increases from zero up to 6,000. On the horizontal axis, we show household consumption. It increases from zero to 5,000 rand on the horizontal axis. If we first show this point on the diagram, we can see that a household income of 1,000 rand will imply household consumption of 800 rand. Now we show the second point on the diagram. When household income increases to 2,000 rand, household consumption increases to 1,600. So when household income is 2,000, household consumption is 1,600. The third point, when household income is 3,000, household consumption increases to 2,400. So when household income is 3,000, household consumption is 2,400. Now we can show the purple point, when household income increases to 4,000, household consumption increases to 3,200. And then the last turquoise point, when household income increases to 5,000 rand, household consumption increases to 4,000 rand. So here we have all the data points that correspond to these different combinations of household income and household consumption. We can draw a line through the different da data points and we call that line C for consumption. As you can see, this line shows a positive relationship. It's an upward sloping curve. And that is because there is a positive relationship between household income and household consumption. When income increases, consumption also increases.